the super secret development of the American P-59 jet fighter during World War II. The Bell P-59 was the first US jet-powered fighter plane built during the Second World War. Though jet engines only came into use by the end of World War II and after, the first ever jet-powered aircraft to fly was the Henkel AG-178 which took flight on August 27, 1939. In parallel with the German efforts on jet aircraft development, the British were working on their designs. The first jet-powered flight in England was made on May 15, 1941. On one of the first high-speed taxiing demonstrations of the Gloucester E-28-39 participated General Henry H. Arnold from the United States Army. He became convinced that the aircrafts without propellers will be the future of aviation. He requested the plans of the Powerjet W-1 engine and also arranged an example of the W-1X turbojet engine to be transported to the US on board a B-24 Liberator along with a small team of engineers. General Electric was offered the job to build an American version of the engine in September 1941. At the same time, the Bell Aircraft Corporation was approached to build a fighter to use the new engines as they had free capacity and also some interesting designs like the P-39 Air Cobra. The jet fighter project was an absolute secret between the Army Air Force, Bell and General Electric. At that time, Bell was working on the XP-59 prototype fighter, which was cancelled so the jet project was started under the same name, implying it's a propeller aircraft. The turbojet engine received the designation Type 1A, implying it's just a new turbo supercharger by General Electric. The Bell engineers who worked on the project were moved to an abandoned factory in Buffalo, the windows were painted over and the building was guarded around the clock. Within two weeks, the engineers showcased a scale model of the new fighter. The P-59 airframe is a very conventional design, the only radical thing was the jet engines. It had an oval cross section with an all-metal skin and pressurized cockpit, featured straight wings and the pair of turbo jet engines were housed under the wing roots. The first prototype was built in the factory, but it was too big to fit through any of the doors, so they had to break down one of the walls and the prototype started its trip to Murak Airfield in California, which is known today as Edwards Air Force Base. To make sure the bearings in the engines will not get damaged in transport, an air pump was installed which rotated the turbines all the time. The prototype arrived at the airfield on 12th of September 1942. The first high-speed taxiing tests were performed on 1st of October by Dell test pilot Robert Stanley. While the aircraft was on the ground, it was disguised with a wooden propeller. The first promising tests were going on well into 1943, with two more prototypes joining the first XP-59. August 1943 seen the first flight of the YP-59A versions. Altogether 13 were built from this version of the aircraft. These had a slightly more powerful engine than the first batch, but the performance increase was negligible. One of them was transported over to the UK for testing, but it performed worse than the Gloucester Meteor and it was returned to the US in 1945. The later tests showed that the YP-59A didn't have the performance they hoped for, thanks to the underpowered engines and the rushed and very much conventional airframe. They had poor engine response and reliability, which was a common problem for all early turbojet engines. The Army Air Force conducted tests against P-38 and P-47 fighters in February 1944 and found that the propeller-driven fighters outperformed the YP-59A. The aircraft received its final designation P-59A and the 100 were ordered but the decision was they were not fit for combat role and will be used as training vehicles to familiarize pilots with jet aircraft. Dell initially started working on a revised version, the XP-59B, which featured low-mounted wings and the engine housing the fuselage, but they were too occupied in other works, so the project was transferred to Lockheed. By fall 1944, when the deliveries of the production P-59 aircrafts took place, the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star was about to enter service. And that was the end of the story for the first ever US made jet aircraft. The original prototype used two 37mm cannons. The final versions mounted one 37mm cannon and three 50 caliber machine guns. 
two General Electric G31 GE5 centrifugal flow turbojet engines. Maximum speed 413 miles an hour. Cruise speed 375 miles an hour. Service ceiling 46,200 feet. XP59, the original designation. XP59A, initial prototypes, three were made. YP59, pre production designation. YP59A, these used more powerful engines, 13 were built. P59A, the production aircraft, 20 were built. P59B, improved version, 30 were built. While the P-59 was not a great success and did not enter combat service, it was a great test platform and helped to build experience in the Army Air Force on the operation of jet aircrafts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and in the comments let me know if there's any interesting events or vehicles you'd like to see.